Hello folks, Hot Rod Rodney 25 coming back to you with um, the first mail call of 2021. Um, this is going to be a mail call from our good friend Art, um, aka PDD Engineering, I believe is the channel. Um, if not, you you know who I'm talking about. Um, his name is Art on YouTube. Um, so let's see what we got in the box. Some of it, guys, I already um, got out, and I'm gonna try and excuse my band aid. Cut my finger yesterday, but anyway, um, let's see what we got. I got some of it out already. Here's some straight track. Um, down in here we have a stack of 15 radius curve. Looking on down in here we've got a stack of 18 radius curve and you can tell the difference between the two so for you beginners go with 18 or 22 or um, something higher than that um, if you want to go to flex tra track that's entirely fine um, this one looks like it's been on the end so that's no big deal either um, some of it can be used for scrap scenes some of it can be used for yards it can be used for whatever um also down here in the box we've got a bunch of little assorted pieces we've got three inch pieces six inch pieces um the i think this is an 18 yeah uh 18 half curve that you can buy from Atlas. Um, these are the ones that usually come with the switches. They're like a one-third 18 um, to make up your whole um, 18 radius piece on your switch. Um, I can You can also use them for other um, places if you had to have them. Um, this is a little three inch piece and th this one's an older one because it has different rating on it um, I have some of those but um, this is two three inch pieces put together makes it a six inch piece if you don't have them any place to buy the six inch pieces this is a one third piece um, of 18 there's a three um, there's a one eight eight or um, one third rather um, that one you can't read um, here's a another one third that's a six a three a one third a one third um, a one third and a three um, and of course this one was it's probably cut off of something it's missing a rail that that's no big deal either um, but here is another one third I believe um, here is actually a yeah this is the one half curve so and there's a few more just small um, bits and pieces of track down in here that I ain't going to um, dig out. And that that's probably what that piece of rail is to that one piece. That's no big deal. Um, and he sent me this stuff free, guys. So um, he knew that I could use it um, or I could pass it on whichever 
happens first. And I'm sorry about the box in front of the camera. I'm not used to having the camera like that right in front of me. So anyway, here is a little shorter piece than a 9. This is maybe, I'm going to say it might measure out to a, a 7 or an 8 um, inch piece because it's been it's been chopped to accommodate where it was needed um, here is a re-railer that he chopped or somebody chopped um, to you know that they needed the little pieces for something so I'll, I will be definitely using this for a project or on the layout possibly um, and these here guys if you are a newbie to the hobby if you can get a hold of these some of these guys these are good for back in your mountain area um, you can you know you you screw your wires on there and screw them down and um you know you you can even you can even solder the wires to the screws if you want um you just have to unsolder them if you ever have to replace wires or something which um ain't really a good idea because you'll melt the plastic up but anyway um there's two wire connector tracks there's a 18 connector track um here's a bachman track and i'll show you the difference um this one takes plugs which you have to have of bachman or you can make your own um connector in plugs and slip down in there if you have the right um connectors to slip in to the slots you can make your own feeders or um, a lot of people I've seen a lot of people just take and nip this off and solder you know and make your wire joiners or wire feeders um, right to the to the track like normal um, like everybody does um, but you can actually, and this one don't do it, but there was something that um, Atlas or somebody made at one time that you could buy something like this with the screw ones, with, with screws um, in them, and you could actually snap it on HO track, um, just like the Line L snap on or lock on um, connectors for wiring but here is a automatic decoup or yeah decoupler uncoupler whatever you want to call it um, it goes across pushes it and it comes back up and hits the um, you know it uncouples your couplers that will come in handy at a dead end track. Um, here's another re-railer, another re-railer, piece of track, straight track. Um, we'll put this down in here, and we've seen that um, uh, uncoupler. Um, we've got four bumpers. One that don't light up, three that'll accept LED or bulb. Um, if you rig them up, all you have to do is put the bulb up through the hole to wh whatever place you want it and run the wires down and connect right on your ends of your, your rails there or you know you can run it down through your layout or whatever. Um, however you want to do it um, but I've got I actually got 
um, lights that will fit on top of that hole that's LEDs. I bought them from uh, somebody on um, eBay, I think, um, that was making them, and they, they fit down in there perfect, and all you have to do is wire them up. But anyway, we got two um, dead switch machines on some switches, um, and these are older switches, of course, um, but... I am in the need of some um, old switches for yards and stuff, and we've got quite a few here. Um, some that's powered, some that's dead, or um, dummies. Um, here's a dummy, there's a power. You can see the difference when you buy a dummy. Um, switch machine this is what it will look like you can see through it and when you buy a powered one you will get the power screws and um it's already ready to go all you have to do is bolt it on with the supply supplied um screws and nuts um here's another switch powered the, this one's a dummy this one's powered this one's a powered. This one don't have the switch machine. One of these switch machines go to it, and the other switch machine goes to this one. So, um, I I, I kind of like these switch machines um, versus the the one sided um, where you you gotta buy the left and the right separate. These are universal, so you can put them left or right on the switches. Um, you can also put these on a Y, which on a Y, it's usually to the, on the left anyway. Um, so, but anyway, I thank you, Art, a.k.a. PD Engineering, I believe is the channel name. Um, or it's it's very close to that um, another couple things that he sent and I will get these back in the box so they don't get bumped and end up on the floor before I get to ever use them because those switches will be coming in handy for my layout um, this is old guys i can tell this is old because well life like made these back in like the 80s um with this particular um design on their packaging and you can also tell because it's um it's pretty weathered the packaging um they sit around and the plastic turns colors. So, um, airport lights, I will definitely be using them. Um, and what they are, they're, they're street lights, but they got airport signs and the direction um, arrows on them. Some horn hook couplers. Some old... Um, Tyco trucks and couplers, and um, I probably ain't probably ain't gonna get them to show. Right there is one of the pins. They're both in there. They're just now they're both down in there. Those little pins um, is what will hold these trucks in so um they didn't use screws and stuff back then um another thing they that he um art sent me is <laughs> very very old truck springs um from steel truck springs and i'm not too sure on the the um brand 
But back in them days, they was 15 cents, guys, a package. So you can, you can imagine how old they are. Um, and then we've got in this envelope six metal trucks. And of course they, uh, well, can't say of course all the time, but um, they've got plastic wheels on them um because that's what they used back then plastic wheels before they had the metal um wheels but there is six of them in here so again art uh if you're watching this bit or watch this video i thank you very very much um and then here is a bag of goodies um and I know <laughs> for a big, a big fact, and let me get rid of this annoying thing. Sorry, guys. Um, these are old. <laughs> a custom line. Um, they're custom line rail joiners um you will not <laughs> you probably won't find these unless you go a train show or on ebay or somewhere you know from somebody that might have them in a box um these are actually um well they're automatically self-locking but um i'm pretty sure they're probably um brass Spring action. Okay. Um. Let's have a peek. Just to take a look. What's actually in here? Braille joiners. Okay. But at that, back then, you got six on a, in a row. Um, now, when you buy them, you get four, which covers two pieces of track. So, um, again, Art, I thank you very, very much. The box, <laughs> the box got sentimental value as well as um the joiners themselves because they're brass um you can still get brass track guys um if you go to you know ebay or um train shows but then you got your normal everyday um wire that would come with your switches and let me get this back out of here the box just fell apart or coming apart again um these are just um add-on pieces for the switch machines switch motors um screw containers that um came with them back then with some of them um some stickers to mark them rail joiner wires and um a couple well the stickers ain't sticking anymore because they're so old but um a bunch more switch wire and th this wire, guys, I save because um, you can use this and if you have to rewire um, lights or anything. I mean, um, I kept all mine. I actually didn't really use mine back then. I kept it and used other wire. Um, Dad and I used to use the old brittle 
telephone wire, I think is what he started out with to run line L. So uh, when, you know, back then you didn't have nothing else. You used car wire from car old cars because he was a mechanic. Um, so he kept, you know, old wiring harnesses and stuff and cut them up and, um, you know, cut them apart and and use that kind of stuff he had he used old um the old breakable um telephone wire or yeah it was telephone wire back then so um i mean he he used anything that and it, it was basically like this guys that's what i'm talking about the brittle uh, technically brittle stuff because it's one strand solid strand and um, now, since I've got so damn much, or so much of it, I'm sorry for the, the French word, but, um, wasn't thinking. But anyway, you take the insulation off of that, and you can use it for across the switches like I showed in, um, two weeks ago in one of my, um, live stream Thursday um train tunnel Thursday back on the uh, let's see it would have been back on the seventh of this month so anyway guys that wraps up the first mail call of 2021 I thank you art aka PDD engineer is his YouTube channel so go over and check his channel out and sus like, subscribe, and watch some videos and give him some love. Um, give this channel some love. Like, share, subscribe, comment in the section down below and tell me what you think of my videos. Um, and, you know, you can also give me suggestions on any of my videos on any comments or give me suggestions on my live streams on Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Or Friday nights at 7 p.m. Um, Train Tunnel Thursday is on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And Friday night live stream is on um, Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, I have yet to name the Friday night live stream because I'm still seeing how... Um, things going to pro progress with the channel and um, me being able to do enough of them to get an audience and, you know, keep them going. So, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for mail call number one for 2021. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. And till the next video or next live stream, we'll catch you later. Bye for now.